Hey everybody, I love miniatures, but they're expensive. I'm going to show you how to get a bunch of miniatures for pennies on the dollar. Watch this. Alright, I just picked up a huge lot of Mage Knight miniatures on eBay. If you don't know what Mage Knight is, it was a game back in the 90s, and uh, for some reason a lot of die-hard miniature fans seem to snub their noses at these uh, but there are actually quite a few that can be a really good option for your table and they're cheap and there's actually quite a few more that easily converted can become a great option so uh, let's get to the table let me show you what I'm talking about first up is a shield maiden I use these a lot in my game as the local guard they look great as a group and you can get them for about 69 cents on troll and toad the only issue with these, as is with most Mage Knight figures, is the face. I found that just a little flesh wash goes a long way to bringing out some of the features. Here is a nice Thief Mini. Not necessarily a member of the Thieves Guild, but fits right in with other townsfolk taking up arms. Again, the faces are horrendous, but honestly, when the minis are on the table, you can't even see the face. But I did put a little flesh wash on there just to make them a little bit more presentable. Now here's where I think the Mage Knights shine, the undead. The zombies, the skeletons, these are fantastic sculpts and they're actually not bad paint jobs. You can see here they have a couple of different versions of skeletons and zombies. Now what I did is I took a little off-white paint and I decided just to dry brush the skull to bring out the features of the face and I think it turned out really cool. You tell me what you think. Here are some more zombie types that have great sculpts and nice paint jobs that I think are good to go straight on the table. Now we get to these undead dragons. I think these are fantastic. The sculpts are cool, the paint job is cool, except for the little uh, banshee character on top. But that's not a very big deal. You can actually just pull up the legs and I found if you just twist a little bit, it eventually just snaps right off. And what you're left with is a nice little undead dragon it can also be used as a dracolich. Now I actually like the shape of this base. So after I uh, touched up the saddle with a little brown paint, I decided to grab some milliput and cover the base. Now I just covered it straight up and I used this small little cobblestone roller. But rookie move, I forgot to wet it down before I rolled it. Ah. So I had to scrape it all off, and I tried again. Second attempt was pretty successful. And I think it looks great. I actually rolled it a couple of times. I also did the sides just to cover all of the little grooves that are in the initial base, and I think it turned out really cool. I base painted it in black, and then I coated it with green, making sure that I saw the black lines in between the cobblestone, and then I just dry brushed a light green on top. Now I wanted to try something else. I had some leftover spackle and I was wondering if it would work if I spackled up all the grooves, sanded it down, and painted it black. Well, it worked great except for the discoloration where the spackle was. Now I probably could have fixed that, but I decided to go an easier route and just flock it with some black dollar store fish tank rocks, followed by a little gray dry brushing. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Now here is a cool undead horse with a nice sculpt. Just get rid of the dorky banshee on top and clean up the saddle and it is good to go. Now we have a bunch of bone golems which I love and are great to use as is. You can see they come in a couple different varieties but all in all I think they're great. But of course they're not even close to as cool as the bone golems that we create. Now as you can see here, I think the undead are just fantastic. The sculpts are great and with minimum modification, these are perfect to drop right in your game. Here is a nicely done assassin. You can see it's a really good sculpt and here he is alongside some elvish assassins with horrible faces. This mud golem is pretty cool. 
And here is a saber tooth tiger, which actually works really well in the game. These two wraiths coming up are really cool. They have great sculpts, and uh, I think they have fantastic paint jobs as well. Now this guy is interesting. I used him in my game as a male hag. Here he is alongside an anise hag. In my world, the males are smaller and weaker than the females. I think it works fantastic. Here are three nice minis that can be used as hobgoblin clerics or shamans. And here is a group of orcs. What I did with these guys is just pick out a few details on the face. But unfortunately I didn't catch that on camera, so you'll have to trust me. Here is a nice group of earth elementals or wood golems. These I decided to actually repaint myself, so I stripped the paint with acetone and a paintbrush. Miniature mashup style, please give him credit. Then I spray painted them both with a black primer. Now I based the first one with a golden brown. And after that I used a burnt umber acrylic ink, and I love this method, this is kind of black magic craft style. And I brushed it all over and it gives it a great wood look. For the second one I just used a nutmeg brown and I gave it two coats of brown before I started to pick out some of the details from the plant life that's growing on the bottom. And with both of the figures I just dry brushed a light gray to pop out some of those features and give it that weathered wood look. Here they are side by side with the originals. Please let me know which one you guys like. Of course I think mine are superior. And now we have a little troglodyte which can be easily touched up with paint. And a couple of lizard men which I love these guys. I think they're good to go straight on the table as is. This one's nice. I use this in my game as a harpy. And you can see here it's got really nice features and it's got red glowing eyes. And this is a really nice drake. Just get rid of the uh, lame banshee guy on top. And of course clean up the saddle and do a little paint touch up on the saddle. Now again I want to use these nice shaped bases. So I used my favorite glue, crafter's pick. Because it's really thick and it can be spread on all the sides as well and it won't drip off. I eventually just grabbed an old paintbrush and used it to get the glue into all the crevices and then I flocked the whole thing with woodland scenics. I think it looks great. Now here are a pair of manticores that I use all the time in my game as manticores for hire. And here is a nice wizard with a really detailed sculpt. Look at that. The front and the back are cool on this guy. This one I actually repainted the face black and then painted the face with various flesh tones. Now I'm not a mini painter, but I think it looks way better than the original. What do you guys think? Now we get to the worst part of Mage Knights, the female characters. Oh, they fall short on so many levels. Not only are the faces flat, but the sculpts are bad, the poses are horrible, and the most egregious feature by a mile to me are the outfits. I mean, really? Would anyone be caught dead battling monsters looking like this? You would think somebody in the company would have raised their hand and said, wait a minute, we cannot put out miniatures with women looking like this. I mean, bikinis in the battlefield? Are you kidding me? Name me one woman on the planet that would be caught dead battling a troglodyte looking like this, wearing a thong. It's just ridiculous. But of course, my favorite by a mile. <laughs> this takes the cake, you'll see. Yep, that's right. Ass chaps on the assassin. Unbelievable. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, uh, the only thing left to do was rebase all of these minis. So they come off the base pretty easily. All you have to do is just grab yourself a little pair of uh, clippers and snip off the feet. They're not glued on there very tightly. And then just rebase them on whatever base you want. Now, for the most part, I like to use just a regular black base. Although, uh, there are a handful of times where I think the clear base works really well because you can see the terrain underneath. 
and there actually were a few characters that were a little larger so what I wanted to do was use the 32 millimeter base so I bought some little pieces of 32 millimeter round circles and I spray painted them black and I used those for my bases you can see here they look really good on that bone golem and now here's a look at all the minis that I converted. This is only about half of the minis that I bought, but I think they look really great. Thanks for watching everybody. And hey, I wanted to tell you one more thing, and that is for every one uh, really cool Mage Knight miniature that I found, I found two or three really bad Mage Knight miniatures. <laughs> if you want me to do a video on that, let me know. Um, but it's a crapshoot. But there are a few really good options as I've shown you here. So, um, if you like what we're doing, if you like the content we're putting out, please like and subscribe and do all that cool stuff and share with your friends. And I'll be back soon with another cool video right around the corner. See ya.